All right, let's do a little talking about the Reef Keeper controller. I'll show you where I have my head unit around the corner from the MP40 here. There's the brains of the system. Reef Keeper Elite version 2. And you can see the screen today. pH 8.16 and the temperature 76.9 and all the icons on the bottom. So I have that mounted with double Velcro to the wall so I can pull it off. It does have a replaceable battery and it's uh, very easy to change the battery. One thing I like about this system over the Neptune system is the battery backup. A year and a half ago or so when I had the Neptunes, I had three of them. And the power would go out and they were just a piece of crap to get them to, re to reset them. So we don't do those anymore. We're on the Reef Keeper. When the power goes out, the battery backup is perfect. I'll show you a picture of the clam in there. It's really starting to open. I thought I was going to lose it for a while, but it's back. Anyway, I want to go down under the sump where I have all the electronics. And uh, show you exactly what I've got as far as Reef Keeper parts. I'll do this a little farther back so we don't hear so much noise. I've got... Uh, three PC4s, an SL1, and a net. I used to have an MLC, but it seemed kind of cartoonish to me, so I got rid of that. Uh, I will just start on the right-hand side here, up on the back of the aquarium. And we'll just zoom in so we can get away from the light, but I've got a PC4 back there, as you see on the top. It's got... Uh, the calc washer, the auto top off, and the right hand radian plugged into it. The center PC4, which has all four blue lights on, you see there on your left, has the return pump, the left vortex, right vortex, and the left radion plugged into it. And then if you look really closely back there, see how close I can get, is the SL1. And uh, that's got the pH and temp probes in it. I've taken the switch out with this bigger skimmer. I don't think I need the float switch anymore. So I've taken that out. And if we head over to the uh, left a little more, I've got another PC4, which has the lights, the swabby, the skimmer, and the heater plugged into it. I'm going to pull this one 500 watt heater out and put two 600 watt heaters in coming up here soon. I have them, I just haven't done it yet. And then I have the net module hidden back there. And uh, it works great. Never had a problem with it. Works awesome compared to the uh, Neptune. Never fails. And how I use that wirelessly is I have it connected to this Netgear Wi-Fi. It was about 50 bucks for that unit. And I have it wired into that. You can see all three lamps are live. So this will be Reef Keeper number one. I'll do three. I'll probably, I'll do this one. I'll do one with the net server. And then I'll do one with the... Uh, I'll do one with the actual software connected to the Reef Keeper so you can see all three. But that's my Reef Keeper system here, all underneath. And uh, I've got everything in control from those parts that you see. Anybody who tells you you need more parts, tell them to get lost. If you want a Moonlight controller, that's fine. I used to have it right back there. You can probably still see the screw holes in the in the back but uh, the only thing I'm thinking about doing when I change this and that'll be a perfect spot for me to mount the APC is to install the uh, get rid of these two MP40s and get a little more uh, oscillating flow by a couple C-sweeps and a couple Tunzi um, uh, Turbellis you know 6155 6055 something like that that I can control from the controller 
or just buy a Tunzi controller. I don't know that it'll be that that uh, important to have it controlled from the, the um, Reef Keeper, but we'll give it a shot. Again, I just want you to kind of see the overview. There's a, a right PC4, left PC4, the SL1, a left PC4, that's a middle PC4, sorry, the net module, and then to get Wi-Fi out, I have that Netgear adapter, which is about a $50 part, and it works flawlessly. I get on the internet all the time with the system. Uh, it's one thing you will need is, at least where I am, I've got a dynamic address. So every day or every couple hours, the, the uh, internet company is constantly changing my IP address. So I had to buy a, or I had to uh, sign up for a Dyn, Dyn DNS account, 20 bucks a year. It's nothing major. And it automatically, uh, dynamically changes the IP address so that it's constantly available on the net. Anyway, I just give you an overview of the Reef Keeper setup and uh, just want you to see exactly what I've got here operating this 235 gallon tank. With that, I'll uh, end this segment and we'll go on to segment number two.